Welcome to the video, the gang is all here. And we've got two people that I'm aware of that are having surgery and several people that are struggling uh, with serious illnesses and I'm sure there's many more that I don't know about. So tonight we wanna have, um, it was Angelica's idea by the way, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm enjoying some um, sleepy time tea with local honey. And um, I just want to say to Janice that uh, several people really thought that that African sunset looked delicious. And I know one person wrote that they, <laughs> they've ordered it off Amazon. And <clears throat> they're going to enjoy it with the video. So that's really cool. Uh, Janice, you started something here. Yep, nothing like a good hot cup of tea. Um, the gang is all here. Everybody, including Angelica. Um, because we want to say get well. And before we uh, continue, I want to say, um, I don't know, I've just... I guess I got inspired or so, you know, on the inside you hear you're kind of pushed to, uh, I went digging through several of the get well cards that I have found in the dumpster over the years. Now these are donations. They are not trash. They ended up being trash, but they're not trash. And, um, somebody asked me in one of the, uh, uh, the comments today or yesterday, you know, do you find things or do things find you, basically? Well, the dumpster is so magical because I feel like, you know, it's there for me. And then, of course, it's there for the guy on the bike and the other guy and all. But um, when I find things, it's like, wow. Like the other day, I have been needing a rain gauge because the one I found in the dumpster several years ago... Um, I forgot what happened, but it broke. Oh, it was plastic, and just the weather, the hot, the cold, it just, you know, it cracked. Something happened on a real rainy day one time, and it just cracked. So, I waited about two or three months, and I got a rain gauge. It's out, out in the yard, so otherwise I'd bring it in. And I'm like, man, ask, and you shall receive. And um, a few people have mentioned that, like, um... Oh, yeah, Sandra in Great Britain was talking about the safety pins. She said, well, you were asking for some safety pins. I've been outside all day. I swept all the dirty, you know, the leaves and all. So my voice is not good lately. But, and it was like, that's true. I, I was saying I need some safety pins. And then we got a bunch of safety pins in a jewelry jar. And as you know, <clears throat> the game... <clears throat> has come from jewelry jars. This was, uh, Croker was friend mail. And Aunt, Barry, Aunt Bunny is dumpster. I think everybody else is jewelry jar. Anyway, so this is a unused dumpster dive find, get well. And it goes out to two very special ladies, I'm not gonna mention names, and then to who are having surgery. And we will be having you in our thoughts and prayers. There'll be plenty of videos to get caught up, and, you know, to give you company through the, your recovery. Um, I'm going to be doing a reading about the history of Thanksgiving from a New England, England standpoint. Um, and that's a dumpster book. So that'll be something that y'all, everybody I think will like. Beautiful picture, isn't it? The Lord is always with you, praying for your speedy recovery. First in the Lord with all thine, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, Proverbs. So that's for everyone that is going through anything challenging. Um, today, <clears throat> first of all, oh, uh, it's a video from a long time ago, but I, the only... My very first dumpster jewelry find was a pink owl. And I ended up selling it in a garage sale with a bunch of other jewelry. And I have regretted it, of course. Because, I mean, that was my first... I was like, I know there's jewelry in the dumpster. And then I 
you know, it was like I, I was in this mode where anything I got, I was going to flip it. But because I, I didn't want to keep everything or keep things. But now, now I'm kind of settling into what I need to be doing. Which is why I'm listing some sterling and listing some things. Um, um, probably slowly a lot of the sterling will go. Not the, I don't know. It's going to take a long time if that happens. But I have a lot more stuff to do before that. The gold is not going anywhere. Uh, isn't that cute? This was in a different dumpster. Um, it was behind our little mall. And these are Hall Halloween owls. And they're so cute. They're not, they, you know, parts of them may be folded up under, but they're not. I love owls. Y'all know I love owls, so that was awesome. And then we are going to look at some jewelry. This is from when we had that favorite spot that always had gold and sterling in our, in our uh, jewelry bags until lately. Um, then they quit doing it, and they had, they you know, we're pulling sterling out and they sold it as a lot. So I bought one, 54 grams, and this was a long time ago. And I want us to look at it because I'm sure I'm gonna list it. Uh, but anyway, we get to see some pretty sterling tonight. Oh, Aunt, B Aunt Bunny's gonna love this one. It's a nice pendant. Nine two five definitely needs a good cleaning, and we'll see if it says Italy on there. Italy, so some Italian that'll clean up real nice too. That's pretty. Yeah, I put a lot on Etsy. Um, it's no longer the chicken coop. I'm now turned it into Santa's workshop. That's, that's the name of what we're doing. And I'm working, you know, my real job, but I'm going to have a long break. I'm going to have nine days next week. And so I've started, let's look at this piece. This is beautiful. Beautiful star. Nice and thick. 925. Probably hollow in the middle, but it, it's substantial, pretty. Beautiful chain, and it has probably Italy. Let me look. I forgot how much I pay for this lot. Probably anywhere, I want to say 30 something dollars shipped. It's just not as exciting for me. Um, I had already looked at it when I get got it, but this is quite a nice, substantial chain. Another one for. Aunt Bunny to clean up, 925. That looks like a Brighton thing, but is it? No, Italy. The little heart. I don't think Brighton does silver. Well, they stole that. Italy. MBC Italy, so. Um... That's a really nice chain. It's not tangled or messed up. It just has to be undone and straightened out. There we go. Beautiful. Silver. It's not as much fun if I'm not digging. And Aunt, Aunt Barry has got some bids in tonight. I'm about to go see if we won. Maybe not because um, it's right at the top of what we're going to be paying. Italy. This is a very, probably has that rhodium plating. Thank you all for helping me with my words. That's pretty. I mean, this is pretty. It's just more fun for me to dig through a bunch of <laughs> other jewelry. marked on there and oh that's pretty I love 
I forgot this was in there. Don't y'all love um, aquamarine? I assume that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah, those of you that watch Forged in Fire, see a thee and some other people, um, remember the guy that was doing the window? I think he actually owns the shop now. Um, he said that the the guy that lives uh, in the local area and is doing the knives and forging, is on Forge and Fire won't say if he won or not. So if y'all let me give me an update on um, if an East Texas guy won, I'd like to know. I need to tell my mom about that. I just don't want, I don't, you know, the thing is, I don't know when anything is on. I have cable. I have, you know, paying way too much for cable. I got cable with extra channels, but every time I think about getting it cut off, it, you know, I like, we like the Hallmark channel. It's just kind of one of those you can have on in the background and it's not annoying, usually. Another Italian chain. And what does this say? The City Ballet, eight dollars. So it's one, that's why this was undone. Two, three, four, Five, chunky, six, seven pieces. I think it was like 37 shipped. And that's nice and beautiful, and those are nice, but they will all be going on um, Etsy. I'm working on a Brighton lot. That'll be going on a keychain, two bracelets, and a necklace. I don't know how much exactly yet. Um, once it gets on Etsy, some things are pricey. I just put Christian Dior, the Christian Dior clip-ons. I mean, I don't know what's happening, but the universe is helping me get it done, and I'm so excited. Um, let's look at the gang. I didn't realize... Oh, I don't think I showed y'all this, did I? This was a dumpster find. I'm about to put it on Etsy as well. Made in, I think it's made in Mexico, yeah. It's heavy. A heavy piece of brass. I mean, it's lovely. Gonna sell, put the Buddha on. Gonna put the uh, snow baby on, but it's got some markings on there on the face a little bit, but it's not broken. Yeah, I've been like a listing fool. Um, Libby and I got out, we put out some rocks, and it was so cool. I have a few stories if y'all don't mind while we're enjoying this tea. Um, I didn't take a picture and show everybody rehiding 35 more rocks. I'd been doing that like two or three weekends in a row. <clears throat> but today we just enjoyed our walk and we just sit down a rock as we go. They're not the nicer rocks, okay? I'm still keeping those. But, um, boy, that gang is looking awesome. They are so amazing. I guess I'm gonna sell these late, put these two ladies on there too. Um, oh, the Skylab ends tonight. I don't know if it's gonna sell. I have it priced pretty high. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, these are cute too. I've had these a long time and I used to keep them on my dumpster magic shelf. Um, Avon. Oh, I forgot they were Avon. Really good condition. And um, these two go together. I forget what 
I know it's Raggedy Ann, but it's her little bear. Aren't they cute? Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. And Olivia loves this, um, this cooler weather. Uh, Loretta, I'm going to get your... Um, I found a, a wooden elephant, Loretta. That's going in there. An elephant brooch. Some don't get don't go out and get any um, Christmas pins yet because I had some listed and it just ended. They'd been on for a, a long time, so I'm just gonna put those in your box with the ribbon that you wanted from that dumpster dive. Uh, anyway, so I had just put come back over the bridge. It's a park with a bridge that goes across a creek and we go on both sides of the bridge. It's a real nice place for people to park and walk their kids. There's no traffic. You know, it's just a place for the kids to go run and all. And there was a grandma and two little boys. And all of a sudden I saw the little boy see one of the rocks that I had set on a, on a big stone or something. And he started screaming and running towards it. And she was like, what is going on? And I didn't, don't know what he said, but I know he grabbed it and went back to her because later on Facebook, on the rock page, uh, the grandma said me and my two grandsons had the best time out there walking. Um, and we found all these rocks and we won't rehide next weekend. But um, I don't care if they rehide or not keep them. But um, it was just so cute to see. And then some people downtown got a bunch of rocks. Uh, different people, not just your typical people that once there's a post, they run and get all the rocks. Um, I call one of them the swiper. And then um, the lady that's real good with the rocks, she didn't put any out this weekend. Normally she puts it out uh, Saturday morning or Sunday morning in the downtown square. And so the swiper, we call her the swiper because she's always down there at 8 in the morning and gets all the rocks. Uh, said... Uh, like she found some other not as attractive rocks and said I was doing my, my weekend walk downtown and we're like yeah your weekend walk to try to find that talented lady's rocks but anyway I guess that's about all I have um, Just hang in there. If y'all can give me an update on your surgeries when you can uh, do in a week or two. And just know we'll be thinking about you and praying for you and for everyone else. And we see y'all. Uh, it's Sunday night, so I wish everybody a good Monday. And um, let's all get through that Monday together. See y'all later.